guys and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of Republic 2 The Sith Lord with me now Barswag. Last time we finally, finally finished wrapping up our business. Even though two of the quests were glitched. Now at last, at last we can move on to Corbin. Seen that? We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place. For those who can hear its call, there is much to put your Jedi to this place. The resting ground of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings hidden locks. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. Sorry about that guys, if I uh, skip it I already thought it would skip the leaving of um Narshadar sequence, but unfortunately we also skipped one of the most epic cutscenes in the game, landing on Caravan. So unfortunately I'm so sorry that you had to miss that. But, what can we do? What happened here? It was said that Revan intended to return to Korriban to subdue any potential Sith insurgents. But Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Korriban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped from and flew into remote sections of the galaxy. Do you think there are any of the living Sith here? As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. What happened? Uh... So that one. If you walk the Corriban surface, you shall walk it without me. Why won't you come with me? I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Corriban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. Corriban doesn't look too that bad. I'm not afraid. Perhaps not. But I would caution you to guard your feelings carefully here. Korriban attacks the spirit and the body, and there have been few who can fight its power. Very well. Stay here and keep the engines primed in case we need to leave quickly. I will remain here. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energies will creep in, and even the fallen Sith needs here. Right, our new quest says. But we can small back, we can still do those two are glitched. You are searching for traces of the lost Jedi in the ruins of Korriban. Kray suggested looking within the Sith Academy. Why not? And as I said, I will be using Atten and HK47. Why not? And just before, just so you know, if you want to see Goto. Hard luck, you might have to, you're gonna have to watch another LP because I have no plans in using Goto. The only thing we'll see of Goto is leveling up of Goto and talking with Goto, that's it. And probably a few cutscenes with Goto. That's it, that's all you get to see of him. You'll not get to see him in action simply because I absolutely hate him. 
For me, Goto is my least favourite character in both games. Here we are, Corbin. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the fury, the fool, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. A remark that um, Redful KBM made in one of his LPs is that this planet would be fitting for a Sith hymn theme. And to be quite frank, I agree with him. This seems like a very evil place and deserves very evil music. Fortunately, I play that evil music because I know the one I want to play. I will get copyrighted for it, probably. So I will not take the risk. As I say that as we level up HK47. Get some more precise shot for you. We'll focus on these for you because they are your highest ranked skills. Master Blurry. And. I think that would be the perfect candidate for Revitalized. Simply because of his trademark of not going. Never going down first. A bit more strength would come in handy, I think. Every giant has no force push. What sort of general would you be if you didn't know force push? Um. Definitely more damage with a lightsaber. And continue down the, revi the revitalized tree. Yes, Master. Make sure I've got you on Jedi support. Ready to serve. I'll have you on aggressive because there's no point giving you melee weapons. Perfect. Let's have a look at these tombs. You remember these from my original LP? This was the tomb of Tuya Kord, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. Tell me more, tell me more. His skill was considered remarkable even in his time when many true lightsaber masters lived. Are you saying Mullion Jedi are poorly skilled with the lightsaber? What made him so good? That is unknown. But supposedly he created a holocron to teach his technique to other Sith. The holocron was a thing laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by the grave robbers of the new Sith Order. If the holocron had survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. <laughs> penetrated. Okay, that's enough of the sex jokes for this video. Tomb of Naga Sadam. Ahead lies the tomb of Naga Sadam. That's what I just said. Successor to Marco Ragnos and the Sith Lord responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the great hyperspace war a millennia ago. Tell me more, tell me more. More recently, this tomb was where Revan confronted Utha Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, 
the Sith Academy returned to China. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this battle. Chai Crash just turned into some sort of tour guide. Over here is the tomb of Mark Aragnos. Before you is the tomb of the great Sith Lord, Mark Aragnos. As I just said. A half breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the force. Tell me more. Tell me more. Ragnos lost power for over a century, and using this cunning he turned his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sada first confronted Ludo Kresh to buy for domination of the Sith. Their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Sounds like civil wars are coming among the Sith. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other, even if it means destroying themselves. So what happened between Sh Sadao and Kresh? As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Now the Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Mark Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sada became Ragnos' successor. Tell me more. A junta's dark spectre lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of Blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of a junta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. You sound like you, you sound like you disapprove. One who has fallen so far and done so much evil does not deserve redemption in a way. Such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. No one has believed redemption, Crack. No one. Perhaps. But redemption is a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. What became of the blade? Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did a jump fall. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Alright, uh, where are the tombs of Garban? What is this body over here? We will find out. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith. I doubt there is much to be gained from beating these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. More on that next time. Thanks for watching. I made the force be with you always.